Hi everyone and welcome back to Interview Chronicles season 3. So this is the second episode of the series and we have Soham here with us today who's been placed at Wells Fargo as a data analyst and he's here to share his interview experience with us. So we all know what Wells Fargo is. Wells Fargo is an American bank or rather a financial services company that is headquartered in the US. So now let's look at the eligibility criteria. So all branches of computer science, ECE, ECM and IT were eligible provided they had a 60% or a 6 CGPA in 10th, 12th as well as the pursuing degree with no standing arrears. Now let's talk to Soham and understand his experience. Firstly, welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. Thank you Jishnu and thanks for having me. Yeah, so would you like to introduce yourself first? Yeah, sure. So, hello everyone. I am Soham and I am uh, born and brought up in West Bengal and I have I'm currently pursuing uh, my BTech in computer science and engineering with specialization in artificial intelligence and machine learning in VIT Chennai and uh, like through the past few uh, years of my college life I have mostly uh, uh develop my skill sets on data analytics machine learning deep learning and image processing and uh, my some field, uh, other fields of interest also include financing and investment and yeah i like to listen to music and watch netflix in my free time okay that that's really great thank you for the introduction uh you can now tell us about the placement process how many rounds were there and what they comprised of yeah sure so Initially, the uh, for my role, uh, which was the data analytics role, so there uh, there was a OA round where the shortlisted students uh, had to attend. Uh, uh, there are five sections, so the five section comprised of there was the initially there was a verbal section, and after that there was a business acumen section, and then uh, there was a uh, there was an aptitude section. And finally, the last two sections, which was exclusive to our role, which was data interpretation and statistics. So data interpretation was, will be given a, a paragraph kind of thing. We have to analyze the situation and given a statement, we have to make which of the, uh, uh, which part of the data can uh, uh, like help uh, satisfy that statement uh, kind of questions like that. Okay. So this was the initial OA round. After the OA round, uh, based on the uh, scores obtained in the OA round, the students were uh, sorted uh, and shortlisted. So initially there were 130 shortlisted students for our role. Okay. After that, it uh, went to 80 students. So among the 80 students uh, from all, of, all the campuses of VIT, so in our campus, I, uh, I don't recall exactly uh, how many students were there, but okay. all the students had to go through a technical round one. Hmm. So in te technical round one, it was a uh, face-to-face uh, interview where the st uh, uh, st mostly the students were asked based on what they have given the strong points in their resume. Okay. So in, like when I was asked, so uh, I told like my statistics is my strong point and my resume is fully revolved uh, with data analytics and machine learning. Okay. So in my first round, I was asked uh, like even the interviewer who was interviewing me, hmm. he was also uh, strong in statistics. So he asked me uh, fully questions on statistics and he asked me to demonstrate on whiteboards uh, for better explanation. Okay. So. So after this, uh, after this round one, uh, there was technical again a technical round two. So okay. in technical round two, uh, the interview was taken directly by uh, the senior manager who came for the placement talk, the okay. head of the data analytics team. Hmm. So he was interviewing us. So the question difficulty increased, and for my, uh, for me. I was asked question based on machine learning okay. and machine learning in the sense uh, not just over the concept so we are asked like thoroughly uh, like algorithms and mm. not just the algorithms what right. uh, how are the algorithms uh, what is the significance of the algorithms mm. even small small details like how will we understand uh, how will we understand the significance of variables and several other questions were okay. asked okay so finally after round two the number of shortlisted uh, students for uh, selected students for 
the HR round were five. Okay. So out of that, from our campus, there were uh, four students. Out of that, two boys and two girls. Hmm. And from VIT Velour, there was uh, one student for our data analytics role. Okay. So finally, in the HR round, uh, uh, there was no more shortlisting, hmm. and we were selected for. Uh, uh, we had uh, just a conversation uh, with the HRs. And we finally, uh, they told like we all five were selected for uh, uh, the placement in okay. West Farm. Okay. So totally you had four rounds, right? Including yeah. online. Yeah, totally assessment. we had four rounds. Okay. Okay. That's really great. Thank you for sharing your experience. And do you have any suggestions for people who want to uh, get in or for your juniors or for even people uh, your parallel uh, your, your friends who what you have learned from your experience do you have anything to share yes so if i want to share the most important experience which i have gained uh, to uh, to uh, get into a company like wells fargo or morgan stanley or any such companies hmm. uh, cgpa plays a very important role for getting selected so right. we might have heard uh, uh, this there is this thing in our mind which goes since class 12 that we think like uh, uh, the board marks doesn't matter, J yeah. marks matters. When we get into college, we think college grades doesn't matter, uh, only the skills matter when you get into a company. Mm. So I want, uh, so uh, I have seen friends who are uh, in my school life who used to maintain school grades also, and he also got into an IIT. Mm. So from him, I learned a valuable experience that why can't we maintain, why can't we be the best in both? Right. We can try to improve our, our grades also, hmm. as long as we can be decent in whatever in our interest. It might right. be competitive coding, it might be web development, hmm. it might be machine learning. Hmm. But uh, but uh, we should be strong in that right. as well as maintain our grades. Because right. even if the eligibility criteria was uh, 6 CDPA, but uh, the, the shortlisted students were uh, like above 9 plus only. Yeah. So I'll suggest all the juniors from VIT, those who are targeting, hmm. uh, like if you are really targeting these companies and it's a uh, dream company for you, hmm. you should uh, you should really uh, focus on maintaining your CGPA. And it's not only uh, that; it also helps you learn things and uh, like not again learn from scratch because for uh, cracking interviews, you need to learn CS fundamentals. So, okay. for learning CS fundamentals. The course curriculum design for us is good enough. So if we, uh, while we are learning the course, if we keep some notes or something, and so this will be helpful later uh, right. when we are planning to uh, go for the interviews. Right. So instead of that, again, we uh, if we don't do that, we have to, at the last moment, we have to browse to different websites and right. learn. Mm -hmm. So if we learn during the course itself, it will not only help us get good grades also, but it will also help in our interview also. Right. So I'll ask every student to enjoy college life also, as well as try to maintain academic grades and definitely will uh, get opportunity to sit in these companies. Right. That's so true. Even uh, when I was in college, my seniors, many seniors, you hear them say, CGPA doesn't matter, ye wo. Yeah, but that's exactly. actually very, I, I do not agree with that at all. At least if you yes. want to get placed early, like the companies are coming yes, to begin. Definitely. Anyway. Definitely. Later opportunities comes, come. but uh, this time is recession time. Correct. So what is happening, uh, most companies are coming very early. Like mm. Oracle, I heard from my seniors, they come during November, but they are coming very early, like in August only. Right. So what happens is like uh, VIT will, there are so many students in VIT. So Correct. there is a competition. So how will uh, VIT uh, send a batch of students uh, for the online round? Right. So they will. They, they need something to shortlist, right? Yeah, they, they need something to shortlist and they cannot go by each and every one CDP and uh, I mean uh, resume and, and shortlist. Everything. Correct. So CGP plays a very big role if right. you want to get placed on. Correct. Correct. Thank you so much for sharing your experience and for your suggestions. And yeah, thank, thank you for doing this. Thank you so much. If you found this video helpful, please do like, share and subscribe. And a lot of uh, placement experiences are going to come in the next few days. So stay tuned and thank you guys for watching.